manipulation, mind games, gaslighting. There's so many toxic things that I see going on in relationships when I talk to the men that come to me for help. And one of the biggest problems I come across is gaslighting. So I knew I had to make a video on this topic because I don't want you to fall victim to this phenomenon. Okay, guys? And for those of you that are coming for the first time to this channel, I welcome you to subscribe. Hello, gentlemen. My name is Apollonia Ponti, and my job is to help men step into the best versions of themselves so that they can attract and build and nurture the best relationships that they've ever had with high quality women. So if that speaks to you, I want you to take this moment to click that subscribe button right now before we get into this video. And for all my loyal subscribers here on this channel, I just want to take a moment to say thank you and I welcome you. I would love for all of you to comment below as I love interacting with you. So I want to see those comments so I can talk to you personally. All right. So what is gaslighting exactly? Well, gaslighting in relationship is kind of like when someone messes with your reality. It's like they're playing mind games to make you doubt yourself or question your own memory and perception of things. They might twist in the truth and deny things they've said or done or even straighten up and tell you that you're basically imagining stuff, okay? Picture this. You're pretty sure they promised to do something, but they're all like, no, nah, I never said that. Or they might say things like you're overreacting or you're just too sensitive. It's a bit like they're trying to make you feel crazy or unreliable. And the sneaky thing is over time, this messes with your confidence and your conscience. It's and your trust in the also to your own judgment. It's like you start second guessing everything and it can be seriously disorienting. It's happened to me. So gaslighting can happen in all sorts of relationships, romantic friendships, especially family, and not, it's not cool as well. It's a way of controlling or manipulating someone by messing with their sense of reality. So let's take a look at seven signs it's happening in your relationship. One of the clear signs is when a woman starts lying to you and not just that she keeps on lying, even when confronted with concrete evidence like text messages. It's like she's weaving this web of deception and sticking to her story no matter what. Imagine this. You catch your partner in a lie. You've got those text messages right there on the phone. Black and white. It's like holding a piece of evidence that says, hey, I've got you. But what happens next is that really makes it a mind trip. The gaslighter remains confident, unwavering in her answers for everything. And she's so convinced that you start questioning your own memory or your own sanity. You might even begin to doubt those text messages you're holding right in your hand, as if she's messing with your reality and making you question what's true and what's not. The more she sticks to her lie with such certainty, the more you start feeling like you're losing your grip on reality. It's a psychological roller coaster, guys, that messes with your self esteem and confidence. The gaslighter's confidence can make you doubt your own judgment, your own perception of things as well. And that's her game. She wants to have the upper hand, make you question yourself, and keep you off balance. It's like she's controlling the narrative, rewriting reality to suit her versions of events. Number two is when your partner starts questioning your sanity. This is a serious red flag and can really mess with your mind. So let's say you're having a conversation and suddenly the woman tells you that you're remembering things wrong, that you're overreacting. I've had this happen in friendships or even that you're imagining things that's never even happened. It's like she's making you doubt your own perceptions and memories. She might say things like, I never said that, or you're being too sensitive, or you must have understood me. Or another one they would say is, oh, but I couldn't tell you. It's a subtle way of making you feel like you're the one who is off kilter. She's trying to make you question your own grip on reality, leaving you wondering if you're really remembering things correctly. And the worst part is that when someone you care about starts repeatedly tell you that you're the one who's wrong, it can erode your confidence self self esteem. You might even start believing them and being second guessing your thoughts and feelings. Gaslighters often do this to maintain control over the relationship consciously and unconsciously as well. By making you feel like you're the one who's unstable, they can make the power dynamics in their favor. It's like they're manipulating your sense of reality to keep you dependent on them for validation sometimes too. Number three is when your partner starts accusing you of the same behaviors they're actually engaging in. Oh, this is like a twisted game of mirrors designed to throw you off balance. 
Imagine this scenario. Your partner has been exhibiting certain behaviors that have been bothering you. But when you bring it up, she flips the script and says, you're the one who's always doing that. She's projecting their actions onto you, creating confusion and making you feel like you're the one who's wrong. This tactic serves a dual purpose for the gaslighter. First, it distracts from their own behavior, shifting the focus onto you and making you feel defensive. Second, it's yet another way of making you doubt your own reality. If they can convince you that you're the one with the problematic behavior, you might start questioning your judgment and perception. For instance, let's say she's been constantly late for plans, but when you bring it up, she accuses you of always being the one who's late. Or perhaps she's been flirting with others, but when you express your discomfort, she accuses you of being overly flirtatious. She's trying to blur the lines between right and wrong, truth and fiction. By throwing accusations back at you, she's hoping you'll become so preoccupied with defending yourself that you lose sight of your own behavior. The result basically gives into number four, which is that you're starting to feel more and more unsure of yourself. This is like a slow indigenous erosion of your confidence and self-assuredness. Let's say you used to be pretty confident about your decisions and your abilities and your beliefs. But over time, your partner constantly manipulated and invalidated you, right? You find yourself double guessing your choices, wondering if you're really capable of your perceptions and if they're really accurate. Gaslighters are masters at making you doubt yourself, gentlemen. They might belittle your opinions, make fun of your interests, or dismiss your feelings as unimportant and irrational. They tend to chip away at your self-esteem bit by bit. And their goal is to keep you dependent on their validation and approval. If they can make you believe that you can't trust your judgment or that your feelings are unfounded, you might start seeking their guidance for even the most basic decisions. I've seen this so much. It's a way for them to maintain control and power over the relationship. As you start feeling more unsure of yourself, you might even isolate yourself from friends and family who could provide a reality check for you. This isolation plays right into the gaslighter's hands, making you more reliant on, I think, them for a sense of reality. Which brings me to the next point. But before we get into that, if this is speaking to you right now, I want you to go ahead and take advantage of my free ebook. It's right below. I'm going to link it. It's my nine signs that you're in a toxic relationship. And I want you to look at these other nine signs as well to make an assumption. And also too, for men that aren't in a relationship, it's good to download this so you're aware to not get into a toxic relationship. I'm going to link that below. It's completely free. Just click the link and add your name and email address and I'll send it to you right away. Now let's get into the next one. A gaslighter will manipulate your relationship. This is a way for them to isolate you and maintain control over your social connections. So for example, you have a close friend or family who care about you and have your best interests at heart, but your woman starts planting seeds of doubt about these relationships. She might subtly suggest that you're Friends are not truly supportive or that your family doesn't understand your relationship. She could even create conflict or drama to push you away from these people. She wants you to become more reliant on her for emotional support and validation. By undermining your other relationships, she creates a sense of dependency, making you feel like she's the only one who truly understands you. This isolation tactic always makes it harder for you to seek advice or outside perspective, leaving you more vulnerable to their manipulation. And as a result, you might find yourself distancing from people who used to be important in your life. This isolation can lead to feelings of loneliness and confusion as you lose the support network that could have helped you see through the gaslighter tactics. And another sign to keep an eye out for is when their actions don't match their words. So let's say this woman says one thing, but consistently does the opposite. She might promise to change a certain behavior that's been bothering you, but then she continues to engage in that behavior without any real effort to change. She's basically telling you what you want to hear, but her actions tell a different story altogether. This inconsistency can also mess with your perception of reality. On the other hand, you have her promises and assurance, but the other hand, you have her ongoing actions that contradict those words. This creates a sense of cognitive dissonance where your mind struggles to reconcile these conflicting messages. 
The gaslighter might use this tactic to keep you off balance by making you doubt your own observations and feelings. She maintains control over the narrative. She might even twist things around and accuse you of misunderstanding or misinterpreting them. Further adding to your confusion, the seventh sign that a woman is gaslighting you is when she plays on your insecurities. Ooh, for example, let's say you shared your vulnerabilities and insecurities with your partner as often people do in healthy relationships as they should, but this is not one. However, instead of offering support and understanding, she starts using these vulnerabilities to gain power over you. She might make hurtful comments or use your insecurities to kind of neg you. For example, she might say stuff like, don't worry, you look good for your age. Or she might say, all my friends say this about you in regards to just kind of getting a back, like a backup in an argument. Gaslighters have a knack for identifying your weak points and exploiting them. So a woman might criticize your appearance, intelligence, or past experience, play on your fears and doubts. Again, guys, the goal here is to break down your self-esteem and make sure you feel dependent on them. So the sense of self-worth diminishes. So if you feel that the woman you're involved with is gaslighting you, I hate to say it, but you're in a bad situation, my friend. It is up to you to know your worth and establish proper boundaries. Otherwise, you're going to wind up in very toxic situations with toxic women. And you're not going to find good women. The other thing here is that you need to be careful with what you allow from people because you are essentially teaching them how to treat you. So make sure you share this video with anyone also too that is might can use this. And I hope these pointers are really helpful so you can weed out anyone that doesn't have your best interests in mind. So if you like this video and you're new to this channel, make sure you subscribe because I'm always making videos to teach you men and to help you men open up that door to healthier, resilient, better relationship. And remember, you guys deserve real, healthy, long-lasting love, guys. And if you want to continue watching something next on this video, more about attraction and dating, I want you to watch this next video about how to touch a woman and turn her on. This is a good one. As always, I'll see you in the next video. And remember, you are always loved. Bye for now.